In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this boss feature at the end of our part. So first, I'll control tab back to my other part. And next, I'm going to do it slightly different than the textbook does. Here, you select this face and sketch on it, but we're making the same sketch as we made here. It's just rotated 90 degrees. So I want to show you a slightly different way to do this. But feel free to go ahead and just sketch on that face as described in the textbook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this feature and I'm going to right click on the sketch. Then I'm going to scroll down and I might need to expand the options here. Then I'm going to select the contour select tool. Notice how the sketch is highlighted. I'm going to press control C on my keyboard to copy that sketch. And then I'm going to right click again on this and I'm going to scroll down. And once again, I might need to expand this to see the option. And I want to choose end selected contours. So now I've copied this to my clipboard. I'm going to select this face. I'm going to look normal to it. And we're going to create a sketch on this face by pasting that sketch. So once again, I'm going to select that face until I want to insert a sketch. I'm going to click in white space and then I'm going to press control V on my keyboard and the sketch is pasted. So it saves me some time. Now I need to do a couple of things here. I'm going to just zoom in on the sketch because I'm rotating at 90 degrees. Any horizontal or vertical relationship needs to be removed. So I'm going to look for those. I'm going to select this horizontal and I'm going to push delete on my keyboard. And I'm going to come up here and select this vertical and push delete on my keyboard. And then I'm going to look for any other of those. Again, here's a horizontal. I'll select it and I'll delete it. So I'll just work around looking at the relationships, make sure there's nothing I don't want. And then I'll zoom back out a bit and then I'll just recenter here. And my next step, I want to be able to lock this on the center of this face. So I'm going to come over to my feature tree. I'm going to expand loft three. I'm going to select my sketch five and tell it to show. And that's the sketch I use to create this circle. And now I have a center point I can use. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit again. I'm going to come up to the ribbon bar. To the move entities, I'll select the down arrow beside it, and I want to actually rotate the entities. I'll window select all of these. They'll fill this. I'm going to click here where I want the center of rotation, and I'm going to grab the center of my sketch. I'll grab this arrow, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'll right click to accept that. So now I can come back here and I can select this center line and tell it it's vertical. I can select this construction geometry and tell it it's horizontal. And again, I can select the center point of these two circles and tell them that they're vertical. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to select this center point. I'm going to hold control and select the center point of this sketch. I'll release control and I'll make them coincident. And we can see what happened here. Now this converted edge from the old circle didn't move. So I'm just going to select it and I'll delete it. I don't need it in this sketch. I'll need to convert these edges here. And then I want to check why my sketch isn't fully defined. Well, the reason is when I copy, none of the dimensions come. So I'm going to activate smart dimension with mouse gestures, and I'll have to re-dimension this. You'll notice they are there. I just need to select the entities to create them. Once again, to select from the outside of the circle, I'm going to hold shift while I select this arc. Still holding shift, I'll select this arc, I'll move out and I'll click to place the dimension and I'll say OK. And as we do this, things are becoming fully defined. I'm going to push escape. So I want to see why it's not fully defined. I want to find the missing dimension or relationship. So I'm going to again grab something that's blue and I'm going to see how it moves. And so here I see its behavior. So I'm going to press Control Z to undo that. And I'm going to activate smart dimension. I realize I forgot to dimension this arc. So I can grab it on either side, it doesn't matter. I'll grab that arc, its size will be there, I'll say OK. And now it's fully defined. So if I look around, okay, I see underdefined here. So once again, I want to look for what I'm missing, and that's this converted edge from before isn't fully defined. I can drag it in and out. I don't really need this, I can delete it, or I can hold control when I select it, and I can select the sketch I'm showing, and I can make those co-radial. And that works. So the last thing I need to do is get this edge so there's a hole in my flange. To do that, 
So I'm going to come up to Convert Entities, choose the drop down arrow. Now I can convert entities. So if I select it, I can rotate around a bit, and I'll need to get these edges here and work my way around. Whoops, I don't want the face. So I'll right click and I'll delete that. Again, I'll just carefully get all these edges. If I accidentally get a face, I'll just go back over here and remove it. Wrong edge. Again, I'll delete that out. And you might need to zoom in and rotate around a bit. It can be a bit tricky. So I'm just going to say OK from there. And if you're wondering why I can't grab this edge and move it, You'll see here, the further I move it, the further it comes off track. So again, I'm going to control Z to undo that. When converting my edges, had I not gotten frustrated, I would have remembered when I get near this edge, if it sometimes selects the face or the edge, to right click and use my select other option. And then I can get the edge with ease. So again, get near the edge, right click, use select other, and then you will have no problem selecting the edge. If you don't let yourself get frustrated, and you'll remember, again, I got a face, I don't want that, I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna say okay one more time, and I have one last entity to convert, so convert entities. Get that edge if I can. There I have it, I'll right click to exit. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. My sketch is fully defined. I'll right click to exit the sketch. And now I can turn that sketch into another boss extrude. Make it a half inch thick. And say okay, and go, ta-da!